this series is amazing. You're both incredible. Oh, thank uh, you. What is it like working together to create one character over such a span of years where she changes so much? And, you know, the whole idea of loss of innocence and, and the way she kind of goes from one stage of her life to a completely new one. Hmm. Well, I, I think what you've just said, Andrew, is great in that, you know, she changes so much. So, yeah, we, we are definitely dealing with the same character and the same foundations. But the journey that she goes on, it almost makes sense that two people at different stages of their life would would play her because, you know, Cassia can bring a, a different aspect to this role that relates to Livia later on. You know, Cassia said earlier she, she's had two kids. I mean, look at her, she's amazing. But um, <laughs> uh, and and it just felt right that I would play a a young Livia that that kind of hasn't experienced as much of the world as as an older Livia um but it was it was an incredible thing to come together like double forces to to create a really forceful character yeah we did spend some time together and we were there with another extraordinary woman uh, Claire McCarthy uh, a director of our three first three episode and um and and uh, she's a heart of this uh, of Domina, I must say, and her sensibility, her um, point of view, and her um, will to to really show the realistic life and in 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 small things that sometimes you don't have on set time enough time to to show them. She really. Um, she, for her it was very important and she just brought us together and we spent a few time some time together and uh, uh, we talk a lot about uh, Livia's past and about her journey and about her goals and we understood it actually won't be that difficult and it was not difficult for me at least it was not difficult just to jump on set and take a story from there it's amazing watching how the show evolves as well but the locations and the sets and everything else what was it like as actors in the space because it, from i'm not sure how much is digital effect or not but it, it looks beautiful i mean chinchita to film there was just incredible um i mean so much history in those studios I remember going for a wee once on set and having the best pee of my life because I, in the toilets, there's all the um, photos of all the films that have been filmed there before. And I just looked at Sophia Loren's face for the whole time because there's pictures up everywhere and I was just so inspired and so like lucky to be there. Um, but the set did so much of the work for us as actors, I feel. Like it was so beautifully designed by Luca, I think it was, wasn't it? Yes. yes. And, um, you know, it was, it, there's actually not that much that mm -hmm. felt that was kind of, obviously there's bits of CGI in, in there, but the kind of domestic settings, that, that was all there for us to, mm -hmm. to play with, yeah. which kind of really does give you a, a grandness to to the way that you approach these characters because the sets were so grand yeah it was massive too it was in chinachita we had uh uh three houses um huge really huge and then all the outside air, um area it was it was very big and and pretty impressive too it was it was just i think we were lucky just to see the whole process and from the sketch to to the to the action you know um it was very interesting i think it it was there's the um, interesting choice that um luca and uh gabriela pescucci a costume designer that made was to show um rome roman period from um, a different perspective i think it's it's different to what we are used to it's right. less uh less rich there's less gold there's less uh, uh red there's all the colors are like kind of 
very dark and uh, mm. more dramatic. And uh, also that it was different period. The, the, the whole um, gladiators and Coliseum and, and, and having fun and showing off came after. Um, mm. Gaius Augustus was not uh, was not um, this kind of uh, Caesar in Rome. He was uh, um, he didn't care about this thing, so he didn't show off a lot. And uh, Livia, uh, it was the most important person in Rome at the time. And together with him, uh, she really kept a center uh, of things of important things rather than spending money on something else. But the domestic life is uh, very important and so all the um the, the the set designer was it was very for us it was uh, vital to to put those characters on on stage it's it's amazing it reminded me in parts of the house that i saw in vesuvius there were a few things that looked similar to how that restored home had looked so it's it's amazing seeing the authenticity at that level. Uh, for you both, what was it like working with this cast? Because the team is beautiful. It's amazing seeing the relationships. I was blown away by everyone that I was lucky enough to work with on this job. Um, we all we all enjoyed being in Rome so much and having aperols after <laughs> after set. Um, yeah, I, I, I feel, you know, I, I was lucky enough to work with Isabella Rossellini and for me, I was just completely blown away by her elegance and her poise and her artistry mm. and really, I mean, I just, I just felt so, so grateful in that moment to be working with her. I love the cast. We really became like a one huge family. We also together came through a strange, difficult period in our lives, which is um, the lockdown. We did stop in just in the middle um, uh, of, uh, of uh, yeah the shooting, and we had another four episodes to go. So uh, that was that was quite traumatic. And I remember when we came back on set. We came back and it, uh, it really, uh, I think this experience gave a lot to, to us. And a lot of things also changed after the lockdown and the script because we had time to, uh, to, to watch, to, to edit what we had and to improve. And funny how also uh, my character changed a little bit. It became more, um funny i guess uh, it was not written like this initially but then it suddenly it happened and and then we just enjoyed to do it more and more and more so it ended up being something something different but uh, i think the lo lockdown was uh, was a, a big part of everybody's life of course and when you're in the in the middle of a shooting you come back and set you're a different person you know what i mean of course you've been do something very strong in your life and it doesn't matter if you know even if you stayed healthy it's something that you start to question yourself you know and then you go back to the same work and you just can't pretend it's all the same you better you don't you don't so it was interesting how we had to trust ourselves watching only eyes and uh, it was much more quiet it was much I don't know. We just, I think we were just different people on set. Well, thank you both for the time. It's, it's an amazing series. I can't wait to see the rest of it. I've seen the first four. So yeah, thank you very much for the time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.